Hey everybody, welcome back. Tony again here with Shinsho Yoga, and this week we're going to talk again more about our repeating numbers, and this week we're going to talk about uh, what some people may think is a scary number, and that is 666, or maybe you see 6666, some repeating sixes, three or more. Uh, and always, before we even get into that, first video I had, I talked about what this is. This is all just communication from the universe, right? It's whispers. It's not magic. It's not mysticism. It's just communication. So, 6666, you've been seeing that. And maybe you got scared because maybe you were raised in a Judeo-Christian household or background and that is considered the number of the beast. And that must mean that uh, the devil's coming after you. I mean, if you want to believe that, you can believe that, but that's not what it is. If the, number, if the universe is, is showing you 6666, it has absolutely nothing to do with the devil. What it's doing is, is trying to communicate with you. And I'll, again, I'll read from the things that I found, right, and then speak about my experiences when I see that. So uh, the one guide that I use tells me it's time to focus on spirit to balance to, and heal your life. Tell heaven about any fears you have concerning material supply. Be open to receiving help and love from both humans and angels. Another one says a warning of negative thinking. And again, for that one, I agree with the second one more. That was the one that resonates with me. What it means for me is I'm not meditating enough. Right? And it not the physical aspect necessarily of meditating. It's saying like, well, you haven't sat today. It means my mind is moving from the focus of the spiritual world and the spiritual path and being present in the moment. And I'm beginning now to focus on the material. I'm beginning to focus on the past or the future, right? Instead of being present in the moment. That's what my, my meditative practice does is practice, it's me practicing being present in the moment of what's going on. It is just practice. I am sitting there, breathing, following my breath, letting the thoughts arise, letting them pass by, returning to the breath. Anytime a thought arises, I just let it pass by and come back to it. I am practicing that so I can take that outside of my cushion, outside of my zafu and zabutan as we use in Zen, right, and do it in the world. But if I don't practice that enough, if I don't sit and practice that enough, you get rusty. It's like anything else. you got to keep the sword sharp. If you're a guitar player, you have to practice your guitar. If you're a, if you're a, a yoga student right, or a yoga teacher, you're going to have to practice yoga. If you are a surfer, you will have to go out and surf, especially if you're coaching people to surf. right? I do all of those things, right? Sometimes uh, with surfing, I may not, depending on the weather and the way things have been, I might have not gone out for a bit, especially in winter, and I go, I, you know, it doesn't matter what today is, I better go out and surf just because I need to keep the sword sharp. Same thing with meditation. Meditation should be a daily practice. And like anyone else, I struggle, as I've mentioned many times in videos, with my own consistency. My best every day changes. Some days I'm, some weeks I'm consistent with my practice and other times I'm not. Probably more inconsistent than consistent, like most of us. Right? But I always come back to it. And if I start seeing that message, if I start seeing 666, you know, I'm... Where are you going to see that? You might be like, I'm going to see that on a clock, right? Well, I see it on my car. I have, a, you know, the odometer on my car. I'll look down and, you know, oh, what's the mileage? And I see at the end there's three sixes, right? Especially, you know, in between getting gas. I'm like, oh, how many miles? Oh, I got a quarter of a tank, right? How much miles? How many miles? It was six, 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 right? There's lots of different places you can see that number, right? You go, you drive somewhere and you look at the truck next to you and it's got a phone number on there and it's 222-322-1666 uh, and you go, oh, right. If I start seeing that number, I know I'm not paying attention to what's what, what matters. I'm not paying attention to my spiritual side. I'm not paying attention to, I'm not practicing enough. Basically, when I see that, I'm like, you better, and not saying, you know, when I see that, go, okay, meditate today and it'll be fixed. It means... Get consistent with your practice. 
You're not consistent in your meditative practice because if I'm practicing regularly, it is much easier when I'm out in the world for me to stay present in what I'm doing. And then all of the things that the universe will present to me, I will be aware and present for. But if I'm not meditating, then I start to get caught up in the nuances of life, of this person's problem and that person's problem, and begin to overthink. Right? Begin to start to try to figure everything out here instead of figuring it out here. This is where we need to figure it out. Here. This is a tool. It's a wonderful tool. But like any tool, if it's used improperly, it's not going to work. A hammer is great at putting in nails, but it's terrible at installing glass. Right? If the only tool you have is a hammer, every problem has to look like a nail. And again, we want to use this tool properly, but we really want to feel out what is right and what is wrong right, for us. So, if I see 666 or any kind of semblance of those numbers in that pattern, right, I know that I, it's the universe is reminding me that you're, you're getting too caught up here. You're, you're missing the whole spiritual side. You're, you're, you're caught up in the physical. Your, your mind is not where it's supposed to be. And I have to get back. And it's, I don't see it generally if I'm consistent with my, with my practices. It's only when I get inconsistent that eventually it goes, Hey, uh, how long are you going to keep going with this? Let's get back to our schedule, get back to the practices, get back to our meditation, get back to making sure that we're doing our yoga regularly. You know, as a yoga teacher, sometimes I don't want to do yoga, right? But you have to. That's, that's the way it works. Keep the sword sharp. So if you're seeing 666, please do not panic. Please do not think the devil is after you. Uh, please do not think that uh, you've been cursed. It's a message from the universe, and you just need to listen to it. So always, you breathe, you follow your breath, you let your thoughts arise, you let them pass by, and you return to the breath time and again, and just be present in the moment you are in. So thanks again for watching. Namaste. <laughs>